All right, let's start a five minute blitz game or a three minute blitz game. Here is my chess.com coach profile. If you'd like to take lessons, then make sure to send me a message or you can use my website to directly book lessons. But now it's time to play a game and let's make it instructive. All right, perfect. So let's start a, a three minute game and rating range let's make it um, casual rating range it's all open anyone can accept it let's see what our opponent is going to play and yep in the meantime as you know um, you can schedule using the link um, but we have an opponent 1947 plays e4 let's go d5 idea idea is that when they take um, of course when we take its Scandinavian defense they can win a tempo Queen moves away but you can play this move knight out attacking this pawn if they would protect I would show you a, a gambit that works pretty well um, so let's just take it with the knight all right let's try to play fast g6 fianchetto oh come on give me a take back it was a pre move come on Decline the take back. Alright, let's play fast. Castle, knight goes out, knight goes to f6, put pressure on the pawn. Alright, exchange it. Knight takes, queen takes. And let's play fast. This pawn can become a target for sure. Um, let's move the queen back here. We'll move the bishop to g4 very soon. Idea is to, to pin the piece. Um, all right, let's take it. Later we'll go e5 to maintain our space advantage. Um, and of course, we don't want to lose the pawn. Uh, that's the idea. Move the queen up to protect this pawn. That's getting attacked. e5 to protect this pawn here. Um, we'll need to move the king very soon so that our f pawn is ready to rock and roll. Um, is that a big problem? No. Let's move the rook here. It could be a problem actually. Okay, not anymore. Uh, let's... Oh, alright. Opponent had an idea here. Good. Good play from opponent. They take... We'll take back. Alright. Um, do we want to exchange? Nope. We don't. Um, so where shall we go? That's a good question. Let's move it here. We'll try to use our pawn majority in the center. Alright, looks like opponent has blundered a pawn here. So let's take it. Attacking the pawn on g3 as well. Um, let's take here with check. Alright, opponent has hung the rook. That's good, that's good. Check take this pawn as well all right now we are plus five once we offered draw um, oops once we offered a take back to this guy opponent declined it not sure if the guy is regretting or not should should regret for sure um, check 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 move the rook here uh, but there it will get harassed very quickly but looks like we don't have many options or it takes it good um, where shall we put the rook where it won't get harassed brutally um, if we move the rook to this square yeah here it could be fine potentially Alright, so it looks like opponent is determined to repeat it. Let's try this way, check. Move the queen here to protect the rook. Move the queen to d5 to maintain protection of the rook. And of course the idea is to push the pawns here. Check.
all right check bring the rook here to maintain production of, of the bishop so that if the rook appears here it's not a huge problem um hopefully it's not a problem let's calculate here check takes check rook goes back bishop c3 could lead to mate so probably pushing the pawn would be wise all right and here opponent blunders checkmate and we offered a draw we offered a take back to this guy deserves it good game thank you and thank you for watching uh, we'll cover more games soon um, we can quickly analyze this game as well so what happened was um, we played the the Scandinavian defense as you can see here on the right I put it took brought the knight out putting pressure on the pawn of course if opponent were to play pawn to c4 here um, we would play pawn to c6 um, idea that when they take we take back with the knight control this square completely um, with e5 very good control over the central square this bishop goes out the other bishop goes out castle we have lots of compensation for for the pawn so here knight takes g6 here we pre move bishop g7 it was a casual game not a rated one i offered um, a take back but looks like opponent was determined to play a piece up and still lose the game so good stuff there um plays b3 idea is to go bishop c4 most probably uh, played c5 reason um pawn to b3 opened the diagonal wanted to put pressure on that on that pinned pawn on d4 queen goes back queen was getting hit bishop goes out pinning the knight idea was that we wanted to eliminate the knight after eliminating the knight we would uh, try to get two pawns in the center and we'll try to launch a pawn storm so took it took the knight opponent was attacking this pawn protected with the queen up all right protected the the central pawn this bishop a3 move hit the rook and this queen move was a very tricky move actually um, i should have played a6 um, but but thought that this is a golden opportunity to move the king away since the pressure was off of that f7 pawn um, because they were attacking two times and and i wanted to move the king so that the pawns could start to roll completely missed this idea yeah opponent did win the exchange as well but of course don't exchange queens when you are uh, down in material um because queen will give you hope using queen you can confuse your opponents you can create opportunities um you might get perpetual chances here opponent played g3 i mean what is that um hangs the pawn allows queen to enter and that's why we were keeping the queen you know all right so took it took the pawn opponent blundered the rook as well we took a rook and then took another pawn and suddenly we were plus five as we can see here plus five materially good position um opponent uh, queen entered and i was aware of it that it would enter here there was mate in four um check all right this check that's what i should have seen quickly if the king goes there queen h1 here checkmate all right overall it would have been a disaster for opponent and it was already a disaster by this point um checked just i was trying to do things with tempo um, but sooner or later i had to bring the queen back to protect the rook queen moves maintaining the protection since our plan was to push these pawns um initially did it with check check move the rook here in this position i was planning to play this move pawn to d3 but i thought that that would be a blunder and that was correct because of check check and then checkmate this is what i calculated and it was correct so what did I decide to do? Push the push the pawn. And opponent here wanted to do this, and if I would take, then I would get checkmated on that h7 square. So didn't do that. Um, whenever opponent makes a move, always look for weakness of opponent's last move. So here and queen d2 leads to checkmate. So um, this game. Uh, Using this game, we can learn one thing for sure, and that is, even when you're a piece down, um, do not resign, first of all. Second, you know, 
try a take back if it's a casual game you never know they might accept it if they don't fine continue to play and third is try to avoid queen exchange because using your queen um, you'll try to confuse your opponents and you'll try to win the game um, or at least uh, try to uh, get a draw or win in dream case scenario um, and queens are extremely helpful um, to, to confuse your opponents and create opportunities so make sure to keep these things in mind and make sure to drop down a message below on YouTube if you like the video make sure to like it if you like it then um, YouTube uh, promotes it and others um, they benefit from the video as well and of course um, for one-to-one -one meetings um, if you want to take lessons if you want to to take private lessons and have lots of questions make sure to schedule a lesson um, or make sure to email me my email is darknightattack at gmail.com and and in the meantime you have fun and see you in the next video bye bye for now